I love and respect nature as much as anybody. It's nice to see them in the yard, flying around, or squirrels gathering nuts as long as they're not my pecans or attacking my tomatoes. The only problem is when you have a big flat railing like this is they leave you presents. They'll perch and guess what they leave behind? Poo. Or sometimes they'll come down here and chew up my railing, which I'm not a big fan of. Now this poo is fake. It's marshmallows and chocolate chips because I didn't want to show you the real stuff, but you get the idea. We're going to help nature do the right thing by putting up an invisible fence. Interested? Here we go. Here are some things that will be helpful for this build. Cable ties, screw eyes. I'm using this size, one and one eighth inch or 28.6 millimeter. Monofilament. I'm going with 10 pound test. I got this for a buck 20 at the big box store, but I'll also post all of these things down below. Now this is a cable tie cutter, very helpful, but you don't need it. You could certainly use this kind of cable tie flush cutter, which is much cheaper than this one. This is runs you about 20 bucks. This runs you about three to five bucks. I have these all over the place. I love them. Or you can just have a regular pair of scissors. A drill, some drill bits to tap for these holes. And then this is some things I made for areas where the railing is different. I'll go into those later. A cold beverage always is helpful. A fence line like this with these black caps with nails are real easy. I'll show you how to start that out and just run it down the middle. Now you want it to, as high as you can and in, in the middle of the railing so that the bird or the critter is going to feel uncomfortable to them. They're not going to stay there. So I leave a good bit of tail on the microfiber, run it around a couple times. Now this is 10 pound test and it's pretty tough and you can really kind of put a lot of tension on it to make that so it's fairly straight and it's not going to have too much flexure to it. You just want it as straight and taut as possible. Get a couple overhand knots in there just to make sure it's tied off. Cut off the extra like that. I'm going to go three times. Boom, boom, boom. All the way down all my railing. Yeah, and that's going to keep the critters from visiting my railing and, and leaving their little gifts behind. There's multiple lines here and they're kind of not all together. So all I'm going to do is wrap line a couple times and just cinch it down like that. Run it around here. This is an end state for me. Lock it down with some overhand knots and cut it off. And that's going to be a great deterrent for any critters that want to perch on my railing. It even works on fences. These lines are several years old and you can see that the fence is clean, but here are some lines that have broken. And guess what? Lots of little presents. So not every deck has posts that you can connect the monofilament to. So I've come up with some other ideas that involve fixtures that you put every so often on your deck at certain key points here at a corner and here at this end to secure the monofilament too. So I took a paper plate in order to get this angle right, put it up here and then just drew as a starting point and then something like that. So after I had this angle, which is absolutely key in order for this piece to fit, I kind of refined it a little bit, came up with this, did a fit check up against that one area, then carved out something like this out of some leftover decking that I had. I didn't have any of the railing left, so this decking has the seams that you're connecting together. So I had to get a dowel that fit in there, hammer that in place, sand it and refine it down, put an eye loop on top, and this is what I came up with, with a hole. And this was all cut out with a coping saw and a hacksaw. And then I came up with this guy, very similar, for the corner, drilled the hole out a little bit, took advantage of this seam in the decking, used a little bit more of this square dowel, and then you'll see how I put that in place. So I've taken two cable ties and two eye hooks and run them through the hole in the fixture. Now I'm going to just tighten up on the cable ties. 
that guy's not going anywhere. But yet it's fully reversible. All I have to do is cut the cable ties and take out the eye hooks and you'll never know this guy was here. Since this is a wood product decking, I was able to use some wood glue. This is indoor outdoor. Bonded it together. Then I drilled a hole in the seam just to open it up just a bit for the cable tie. So that's right around the center of this railing here. So I'm gonna run the cable tie through down this way and I'm probably gonna need two. Yep, or you just need to get a really long one. And then in this slides right underneath the decking, there's a seam there. Cinch that down, tighten it all up. You got a fairly seamless and locked in in which to run the microfilament. Since this top one, if I was to run it to the corner where I just was, it would be offset. And so it's not gonna really cover the railing as well. So what I did is I actually took advantage of this crack, put in a screw eye, tightened it down. And that is the center of the railing right there to run down to this place and then over to this guy right here. Here's another situation where the wire is kind of offset so it's coming right along this line right here. The only problem is it's not protecting this part of the railing and this part of the railing so they could perch here and perch here with reckless abandon. Actually gonna put two more eye hooks, one right about here and one on this end to take care of that situation. Here's the line installed, kind of running the magic pointer across it so you can kind of see the line. It's pretty transparent and I did three loops to all the different stations. And here's the line all complete on the bottom area. It's running right along the middle of the railing. This concept works on wooden railings, metal railings, fences, it can be adapted for all. He's just not going to be able to hang out on here any longer. And the birds aren't going to be able to perch and do their business either. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in home repairs and outdoor ideas, designs of all kinds, I even make puppets, toys, costumes, props, cosplay. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.